This morning, growing outrage for parents across the country over gun violence. From Uvalde, Texas, where controversy is growing over video of those key moments during the school shooting, to the White House, where a parent confronted President Biden. Parents confronting the violence that now seems to be a part of American life, even during America's pastime. This weekend, gunfire at a Little League baseball game in Wilson, North Carolina. Players and coaches caught on camera hitting the dirt. Coaches seen shielding the kids with their own bodies. Police confirmed three shots were fired, but no arrests so far. I, I still at this point don't know how to explain that to my children. Why somebody would act this way, why people would act this way, why there would be these continuous acts. These frightening moments reminiscent of a similar scene back in April in South Carolina where dozens of gunshots sent players and parents scrambling. In this latest incident, the community still searching for an explanation, though thankfully no children were injured. While in Uvalde, Texas, parents are also demanding answers on the police response and the release of surveillance video from inside the school during the devastating attack that left 19 children and two teachers dead. NBC News has not viewed that video, but according to the Austin American Statesman, the recording shows the shooter walking uninterrupted through the hallway and holding police back with gunfire. Later, according to the paper, footage shows officers massed in the hallway, increasingly armed with shields and high-powered weapons, but not entering the classrooms until they finally take the gunman down at the end of this 77-minute sequence. Parents, the Uvalde mayor, and some local representatives pushing for the video's release while the district attorney has resisted. It's part of Uvalde parents' long push for accountability in the seven weeks since the massacre. In the wake of Uvalde and other mass shootings, Congress did pass a gun control law with some new restrictions on gun purchases. Yesterday at the White House event to mark the bill, parental anger again boiling over. Because they sit down, you'll hear what I have to say. The father of a Parkland shooting victim interrupting the president to call for more action. Later saying the larger issues of gun violence in America cannot be ignored. And this morning regarding that video in Uvalde, we have reached out to the Uvalde Police Department, but so far have not heard back. Morgan, Savannah? Can we go, Morgan, back to that Little League shooting? Have police said anything about the motive there, whether it was targeted? Yeah, this is interesting. They say this incident is still under investigation, but it doesn't appear to be a targeted attack. That said, when I spoke to the coaches and the parents who were at that game, they described the scene as bullets whizzing by the players' heads. They said it was far too close to imagine this was anything but a targeted attack. Not only that, Savannah, several of the coaches on the team have concealed carry licenses, and they said that going forward, if legal, they plan on using them in carrying weapons when they coach baseball games. <sighs> Boy, Savannah. all right, seven and eight year olds too, Morgan. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.